in New York, right down the street from you. We will be celebrating uh, the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Celebration and World Pride uh, in New York City. And each week we celebrate uh, the March to Stonewall uh, and gay icons that have meant a lot to the gay rights movement. This week, as you can see, we are celebrating Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. And uh, before we begin, uh, there, here's a reminder, and, and we probably have a lot of young gay men and women that don't remember one of the most important moments 42 million people watched it live. You say that every chance you get about every topic and, you can. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 it's important. Watch this. I'm Ellen and I'm gay. <laughs> Twenty years ago I said that, it was a much bigger deal then. Today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the coming out episode of my sitcom. My character Ellen Morgan came out as a lesbian on national television and I, Ellen DeGeneres, came out at the same time and this was before Facebook so if you wanted to announce something it was the only way you, you, you had to get a sitcom. Why was it necessary for you to come out, tell the public, why was it necessary for the character to do so? Because it's okay. Because it is okay. Why do I have to be so ashamed? I mean, why can't I just say the truth? I mean, be who I am. I'm 35 years old. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just... Susan, I'm gay. I'm gay. Did you expect it to turn into all of this? No, no. I mean, I knew that it would be uh, big, but I, I had no idea that it would be this big. The announcements have set off a huge debate. We've seen the fallout that Ellen DeGeneres has had to face since she decided to be open about her sexuality. I am concerned that we are flaunting sex. God says it's wrong, it's in God's word. I just feel like we're being stuffed with this but right now, down our throat. It's just like... Yeah. Why? Why? Well, because you don't have to fight for anyone to embrace you and say how wonderful you have a family and children. And you want to know I'm straight? I, I, I'm not out on the cover saying, yep, I'm straight. Nobody wants to know. Nobody cares. And Time has been asking how to get in touch with you. They actually yeah. <laughs> it was hard. I lost uh, everything and I got to be stripped down of everything and start all over again. And that was a wonderful gift to be able to start all over again and to, to realize that I was strong enough to come back. It's easy to forget now just how much courage was required for Ellen to come out on the most public of stages almost 20 years ago. Just how important it was, not just to the LGBT community, but for all of us to see somebody so full of kindness and light remind us that we have more in common than we realize. Push our country in the direction of justice. I can go a little while longer. Good for you. You're gay. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> well, everybody connected with It's Happening Out is very proud of this segment. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, uh, the Stonewall celebration is really critically important to us. It's our civil rights moment our civil rights struggle and our civil rights celebration. And so we're very happy to be celebrating Ellen DeGeneres' role. Uh, each week when we do this, we uh, turn to a uh, uh, host and uh, ask about it. And we'll start with Ari. Anything you want to say about Ellen DeGeneres? Uh, just that it's great that Ellen was able to come back from the backlash. And I think it's important to not forget the backlash. Even though so many people watched that episode, um, her career really did suffer after that. And there are many people whose careers didn't really rebound, people like George Michael after they came out. And, and then, of course, there's just people in general who you know struggle with coming out. So uh, that's one of the great triumphant things about it is that she was able to come back with such a hit daytime TV show. Awesome. Yeah. You know, it's funny, to that observation, I just want to put an exclamation point on Ari's observation. At the time when she said that, even when she did this Oprah interview, her career came to a complete crash. Yeah, it really did. By just saying, yep, I'm gay, and doing it on the show. 
she could not have possibly known that she would go on to host the Emmys and especially the Academy Awards. And still to this day, I just remind everybody, she comes out and says, yep, I am gay. And in an impromptu fashion, stands in the audience at the Academy Awards and says, let's do a selfie and holds her own personal camera up and everyone from yeah. Meryl Streep to Cher <laughs> pours into it and it is the most viewed tweet in history. Now, when you look it up, more than one billion people have seen that. Her career didn't suffer too badly by saying, mm -hmm. yep, I'm gay. It was a hell Anything? of a rebound. Right, exactly. And that's why it's important too, to still keep coming out. You know, we say, oh, he's, he's gay, big deal, who cares? But it, it is important, we've gotta keep doing that. Exactly. Um, Ellen DeGeneres actually um, won the People's Choice Award, uh, which is voted on by public, you know, the general public, 20 times, which is more than any other person in history, uh, which I found. I didn't know that, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I found pretty cool. She, Ellen DeGeneres said, be open to learning new lessons, even if they contradict the lessons you learned yesterday. Mm, awesome. Josie? Uh, so, you know, I've had the true honor of having dinner with her mom while on an <laughs> Olivia cruise. We're just name dropping. I was gonna say, here we go. That's I, awesome. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, honestly. I think it was fangirling on her mom more than <laughs> I probably would. So, um, anyways. Uh, she made history by being the first woman to ever be paid $20 million for a Netflix comedy special. Mm. I mean, that's a lot of money, right? Damn. Um, she's a funny lady. Uh, it's she is. Her, uh, you know, um, Ellen says, it's our challenges and obstacles that give us layers of depth and make us interesting. Are they fun? No. <laughs> but they are what makes us so unique. And I know for sure, I think. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is great. I gave you kiss bumps. That's great. Antonio, something about Ellen. So I like that she created her own production company, 1111, as a producer. Different industry, but uh. <laughs> it's, very difficult. it's very difficult being a producer and having your own production company. So I think that's amazing. <laughs> And as an animal lover, which is what I think I like the best, she's done a lot of charities. One of them is uh, Best Friend Animal Society. Uh, the other one that has a hashtag, Be Kind to Elephants. And the other one is the Ellen Wildlife Fund that she created last year that uh, helps gorillas in the wildlife. So for me, that's, I think, as an animal lover, for me, uh, that's amazing for me. Mm, awesome. Mm. Joe? Uh, one, Ellen and I are the same age, so go girl. Um, I also remember when she came out on TV and I was in a very different place and my response at that time is why announce that? We all knew it, but why announce it? Um, uh, my quote's different, but her quote there of because it's okay is the most poignant piece for anybody and that, is, that really struck home with me when I saw the video it's okay. For me, 50 years trying to figure out that it's okay. Um, but the, the, sorry, so the accomplishment that I thought was amazing and funny for Ellen was she is the first voiceover to receive an Academy of Science Award for her voiceover of Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. Funny, wonderful, she's the first voiceover that's gotten it, but it's the quote there um, uh, that made me stop and think because we all probably know it, it's just keep swimming. <laughs> and, and when she came out, that is what she did. Just keep swimming, mm -hmm. just keep doing because it's okay. Mm -hmm. I thank all of you uh, for bringing a lot of Ellen DeGeneres uh, in front of us. The one thing that I would say uh, about Ellen DeGeneres and really this entire segment, uh, I'm identified on the show as um, uh, very centric in searching for gay culture and gay community. I'm identified in, uh, in the show, frankly, as the gay guru. I've been in the community a long time. I've been gay a long time. We identify you as many other things, too. Yes. But okay. We'll go with that. All right, we'll go with that. <laughs> but uh, what's really interesting to me is I went through years and years, perhaps even decades, where I identified the gay community as men. And I love this segment, I love the show, because I've said this to, to um, Josie, I've had an opportunity to reevaluate my thought about the gay community. 
And it's not because I did not embrace lesbians or trans. It was just they weren't centric in my life. It may be a choice, maybe an unavoidable choice. It doesn't really make any difference. One of the reasons I love this Stonewall segment and, and the ability to mark a date in the sand for 50 years of celebration and anniversary is it puts it all in front of us. And honestly, for me, I'm very happy about this segment because if you look at the time of our celebration, we are having lots and lots and lots of women being celebrated on our march to Stonewall. Whereas a year ago, I would have gone, no, I don't think so. Things are changing in every possible way, even in our community and even with me. That is the reason to be in New York, June 30th, Way to call out your own bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's never hit me before the way it did just now when you said 50 years. We say that every week, and it just now hit me, oh my God, it's only been 50 years. Only 50 years. And look at... Mm. Where, where we come. are. I have so many, well, that's, that's a great ending point of, of that observation.